I'm Greg Jensen with Jensen Mechanical. Been in business here for 38 years. Uh, this is our Cincinnati hydraulic uh, 90 ton uh, press brake. It's got a 10 foot long bed and it's been a real workhorse for us. We, we purchased this used, but it was only used for a short time in an R&D shop. So it was relatively pretty new when we, when we purchased it. Right after 1987, well, you have to have a good operator. Um, it's not a machine that needs a lot of programming or anything like that. It has uh, manual uh, settings, back settings, uh, stroke settings, things like that. So no computer training is necessary, uh, but you still need a, a good operator that uh, uh, knows safety, knows, you know, can operate the machine safely and uh, select the proper dies and uh, the strokes and everything else for the part you're actually going to make. Well, notably, it's a 90-ton unit. Uh, the bed is 10 feet long. Um, so translating that, we could take a 3 16th plate over the whole length and be able to bend it. Um, you can bend um, shorter pieces, thicker, uh, it just it converts uh, a good operator knows how to convert uh, knows what the limitations are based on the, the tonnage this can bend on a, it can bend on the whole 10 feet it can bend 3 16 inch it can bend heavier than that say it's a, a foot long piece or say you're trying to make a, a bracket or something like that it'll bend heavier than that um, the the uh, press brake itself, uh, the way they classify it, is a 90 ton unit by 10 feet long bed. That's how it's, it's classified. And that, that uh, using a chart and uh, knowledge, can tell you how thick a material you can bend, how long a material you can bend, and how far you can bend something. We have probably have over 100 dies um, to do different uh, uh, shapes, uh, different bend radiuses, uh, different uh, thicknesses of material. The machines check regularly uh, for uh, oil levels, uh, lubricants, uh, things like that. Uh, the seals are checked to make sure that they're not leaking. Uh, the safety uh, switches and foot pedals and things like that are checked on a regular basis, uh, usually by the operator. Absolutely, uh, we'd buy it uh, again today. Uh, even though it uh, seems like an old machine, it's a workhorse for us. Uh, it requires no foundation. Uh, we're able to put it right up. We have a six inch slab here, and we're able to put it right on the six inch slab. Um, it's uh, easy to operate. Any of our operators, we don't have just like one single guy that knows how to run it. it most of the guys in our shop can, can run this uh, press brake. Uh, versus having to program something or anything like that. For, for a job shop like us, it's a real, real great tool.